what advice would you give to people in Sri Lanka, in America, all over the world when it comes to self-care? What would you tell them? Um, okay, first of all, an advice I would like to give is that um, I would like to give them the advice of, you know, it's always okay to say no to things and people which, like, it seems like a threat to us or make us feel com uncomfortable, you know. And I also advise my followers and people around the world, as you said, like Sri Lankans and Americans, to engage in activities that bring them joy and relaxation, whether it's reading a book or taking a bath or no, you know, like spending time with loved ones. So these moments are crucial for mental health. And also I request to every fellow entrepreneur out there to, you know, uh, the importance of viewing self-care as a necessity and not a luxury. Because prioritizing your health and well-being is the key to a sustainable success in your business. And I also recommend setting aside specific times for self-care throughout the day. Even short breaks to stretch, breathe deeply or have a healthy snack and think that, you know, make a big difference. It's important to create boundaries in, you know,